Hey there, Carrie from the Writing Center. In this quick video, I will show you how to create an APA reference entry for a database journal source. So different sources have different citation formats in APA. So for an online database journal, like something that you would find in one of our Western databases, there are um, some key pieces of information that you'll be looking for. So you are gonna look for the author, last name, comma, first initial, or multiple author, last name, comma, first initial. You'll be looking for the date of publication. You'll be looking for the title of the article. Uh, and again, as I mentioned in previous videos, EPA always has unusual rules for capitalization of titles following a rule called sentence case. We look at the title as a sentence and we capitalize only the words that would be capitalized in a sentence. Everything else is lowercase. Then we're going to look for the title of the journal that it was published in. And if you looked at any of the other PowerPoints or other videos, you might have noticed that in all of those other source types, it's always the title of the article or the title of the web page that is in italics. But with a journal article, it's the title of the journal that is in italics. And also to note, the title of the journal does not follow sentence case. It follows traditional capitalization rules, so we capitalize all important words. Then typically, uh, journal articles have a volume and an issue number, and the volume will be italicized, the issue number will not. And we'll be looking for the page numbers that it appeared in that journal. The final note, the web address is no longer required. APA 7 basically said we're going to get rid of URLs for these database sources. However, it's always a good idea to ask your instructor to verify that. Um, and for this project, it might be a good idea to keep the URL on there um, so that your instructor can check your source as needed. Um, but again, just so you know, APA doesn't require it on these types of sources anymore. So here is a sample source from one of our Western databases. And I'll show you how to go through it by hand really quickly if you want to type your whole source. But then I'm going to show you a really easy way to cite your sources out of a database. So again, we're looking for the author, last name, comma, first initial. And you can see with this one that we actually have uh, four authors. So we're going to list all of them, last name, comma, first initial. And we'll use the ampersand sign, the shift seven key before the last author's name. Then we're going to be looking for the date, which is also listed. And the nice thing about these databases is most of the time, all of this is labeled for you. So it's really easy to find. Next, we're looking for the title of the article. Then we're going to look for the source, which is the title of the journal where it was published. And that is listed here under the uh, from. Then we're looking for the volume and issue number, which are listed for us. And lastly, we're looking for the page numbers if included. And then again, we will add the URL or DOI, probably because I think your instructor wants it. So for the reference entry for this source, here is how it would look in APA format. Like I said, you can see the authors are listed there. And then we've got our date. We have the title uh, is not in italics, again, for these journal sources, but it does follow that sentence case rule. Then we've got the name of our journal is in italics with all important words capitalized. And then notice the volume and issue number. We don't put VOL or ISS. It's just the volume is in italics. The issue number follows immediately after in parentheses. And then we've added our DOI. However, as I mentioned, there's a much easier way to do this from an online database because most online databases contain a citation generator. So if you look around and you see the word cite or citation, Go ahead and click on that. And then what's going to pop up is this box that gives you different options for how you want this citation generated. And the most important thing to remember is that most of these citation generators do not default to APA 7. So you have to make sure that you pick APA 7. Uh, don't use MLA 8. 
uh, don't use Chicago, don't use uh, Brazilian national standards is another one. We have to make sure that we pick APA 7. And then all you have to do is copy and paste this generated citation and put it into your references page. I will say that occasionally some of the formatting doesn't come through. You might lose the italics, so you might have to add that. Also, frequently there are mistakes in the capitalization of the title. This one does not have mistakes in it, which is great, but a lot of times they follow more traditional capitalization rules, even though that's not true of APA, um, and you have to go make a lot of the words lowercase. So uh, I hope that this is helpful if you are using a database journal source. And as always, if you have questions, don't hesitate to reach out.